Liz Kay is an award-winning poet. She's been published all over the place and just recently released her first novel. It's about two people who find each other and find themselves on a collision course. The book called Monsters, A Love Story. Mm -hmm. Author Liz Kay, welcome to the Morning Blend. Liz, nice to, to meet you. you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks so much for having me. This is me. a little bit different than what you've done in the past, so right? Mm -hmm. This is your first novel. It is my first novel. Mm -hmm. So yeah. well, I guess how, this part of this book is rooted right here in Omaha. It in is. The basis, right? Explain what mm -hmm. it's all about. Well, Monsters is a love story, but it's a love story about uh, sort of challenging characters. Uh, Stacy is a poet, but she's also a widow. So when the novel opens, she's just sort of drifting. Uh, she's going through the motions. She's a writer, but she hasn't been writing. She's a mother, but she feels like she hasn't really been connecting with her kids. Um, and the opportunity comes along in the form of an email that someone in Hollywood is interested in uh, making a movie out of her novel in verse, which is a feminist retelling of Frankenstein. Um, a, a little strange. <laughs> uh, but uh, she goes along with it. Uh, she doesn't take it that seriously, but it provides sort of a distraction from her daily life, which is so filled with grief. Mm -hmm. um, and very quickly, she's introduced to the driving force behind the movie, a very famous actor named Tommy, um, who's someone else she doesn't take so seriously. He's sort of a known womanizer. But again, he's a great distraction. Mm -hmm. And um, so they um, very quickly fall into a rather tumultuous affair that mm -hmm. lasts um, the length of the novel. Mm -hmm. there's just, it sounds like there's just so much push and pull between them. Nothing mm -hmm. is easy. Um, so why do they, what is it about the relationship that keeps them connected if they sort of drive each other crazy to some extent? They do drive right. each other a little bit crazy. Um, I think that they are both so, um, so different from what they're used to. I think Tommy is used to um, people who kind of throw themselves at him. And, um, and Stacy is um, just sort of escaping her daily life. So, so Tommy's just sort of a fantasy escape. Mm -hmm. um, that keeps them pulled together. Would you consider this a romance novel? And I guess, if so, it's not your typical romance novel, is it? It's definitely not a typical romance. I think that uh, one of the draws of the romance genre is it's so comforting to read a story where you know exactly who you're rooting for, mm -hmm. you know you're gonna get a happy ending, and you know what that happy ending is gonna look like. Mm -hmm. um, and with monsters, I definitely wanted to complicate that. Mm -hmm. So um, you're not always sure who to root for, who's the good person in the relationship, or if there even is one. Um, I don't know if it's clear that you want them to end up together or mm -hmm. if them ending up together would even be the best thing for everyone involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the part of it is in Omaha. Are there recognizable spots? Did you write to names or scenes that readers know exactly what you're saying? Absolutely. Well, I hope that everyone would recognize the carrot dog at M's Pub. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> But, you know, I've lived in Omaha for about 17 years mm -hmm. now, and I just am in love with this town. It's the longest I've lived anywhere. I grew up as an army brat. Um, so Omaha is just a real and important place to me, and I wanted that to be the counterbalance to this sort of mm -hmm. Hollywood fantasy. Mm -hmm. So Omaha feels very real. I think people will recognize the carrot dog at M's. Um, there's reference to the very scary Kingdoms of the Night exhibit at the zoo. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, they'll probably recognize Blue Sushi and just the, mm -hmm. the places that we go around town. But Stacy didn't really, did she enjoy Omaha uh, in this book? Stacy doesn't enjoy anything. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's not really happy. Stacy is definitely, she's sort of stuck in her grief. Mm -hmm. um, so she's not really connecting with anything. Yeah. Um, probably not connecting with Omaha in the way that, mm -hmm. that I connect to yeah, Omaha. Sure. As you say, but it's the, the humdrum life of the suburbs. She's in the burbs, kind of yeah. That. yeah she's, yes. That's where she is. But as you said, she just had this significant loss in her life and then this guy. And But it's funny that you say you don't even know who to root for because on the surface, she looks like the one that you're right. pulling for, but boy, she makes it hard sometimes. She does. <laughs> uh, where can our viewers pick up the book? Well, it's available anywhere books are sold. Mm -hmm. um, locally, we can get it at the Bookworm or Barnes and Noble, and of course, it's available through your local library. Mm -hmm. And then online, LizKay.net, if you'd like to learn more about her and some of her poems, she writes a blog, all that's on yeah. the website. Well, good luck with this first one. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Thanks, Liz. Sounds nice to meet you. Nice Thanks meeting you. Thank you. Well, you